You know, in Washington over the past few months, uh, our attention has been on cliffs, it's been on debt ceilings, budgets, deadlines, and negotiations. All of this is extremely important because I don't think there's any substitute for getting our fiscal house in order. There's no greater moral imperative than to reduce the mountain of debt that's facing us, our children, and theirs. And our House Republican majority stands ready for the President and his party to join us in actually tackling the big problems facing this country. But today, I'd like to focus really on what lies beyond the fiscal debate. And over the next two years, our House majority will pursue an agenda that is based on a shared vision of creating the conditions of health, happiness, and prosperity for more Americans and their families and to restrain Washington from interfering in those pursuits. We'll advance proposals aimed at producing results in areas like education, health care, innovation, and job growth. Our solutions will be based on the conservative principles of self-reliance, faith in the individual, trust in family, and accountability in government. Our goal is to ensure that every American has a fair shot to earn success and achieve their dreams.